and difficult times, it is the time when you gather faith. It is not in good times that you gather faith. I tell you, I know what I talk about. I've been, I've been a Christian a couple of years, a born-again Christian. In the good times, you don't gather no faith at all. But good times are there to enjoy yourself. You should enjoy yourself in good times. And, and, and just enjoy and rest and relax for the tough times to come. So that when the tough times come, you are rested out. You're in a good condition to face the tough times, the valleys of the shadow of death. So that when you go through the tough time, you might keep your mind. You have a sound mind. The th in a tough time, you should keep a sound mind because you can easily lose your mind. If I do not tell you about the thoughts, maybe you're thinking, I'm the only one. I wonder if I'm a Christian that can get bombarded by, th bombarded by thoughts like that. You can easily think that. Okay? Satan Gani said, you're not the only one. Stand firm. Push them aside. And pray right through them and present your prayers to God. It's also not the way you feel. You think when you feel good when you pray, ah, oh, this is powerful prayers, you are deceived. I say again, when you feel good and you go through good times and you feel you got a good prayer time, you think, wow, this was faith, you are deceived. You need them, but they're not the mountain crackers. They're not the mountain moving prayers. Okay, it is in difficult times of trial, temptation, persecution, where you gather faith. I mean, when you, where you gather enough faith to crack mountains and to throw them into the sea. By the faith you have gathered in difficult times. In difficult times, later when you went through them, you look back and you treasure them. Because it is in those days... That you've gathered faith. Before Joseph could be the second in charge of Egypt, he was in a jail. You think it was nice? Before jail, he lived in a, as a slave. Do you think that was nice? Before he was a slave, his own brothers sold him to slave traders. Before that, they actually wanted to kill him. Do you think those were nice days? Do you think they were comfortable days? Guess what? That was the days of preparation. He gathered godliness, faith, and godly character in those days. I mean, when God promoted him and went well, he, that was not necessary to gather faith. He gathered enough faith. Now, what is faith? Faith only live with a godly character. A person who do not have a godly character cannot have faith. He might have, think he believes in his mind, but believing with your mind and believing with your heart is two different things. The person without a godly character cannot have faith. It's impossible. He might think he has faith, but he will find soon that his faith is not mountain-cracking faith. It's just a belief in the mind. No one can truly have faith if he does not have a godly character. To the degree that you have traded in your old character for God's character, for the character of Jesus, to that degree, you'll gather faith. That's why sometimes you go through difficult times. You go through trial and temptation. God is everywhere. He's with you in the good times. He's with you in the trial time. He's with you in persecution. He's with you in the valley of the shadow of death. He always take you through the valley of the shadow of death. He will never, it's not his will for you ever to camp in that valley. It is people that give up and quit that remain in the valley of the shadow of death. Don't give up. Make sure that God leads you through the valley of the shadow of death. Trial, temptation. It is in these times where you gather a godly character. When you face difficult situation, you make the choice whether you're going to run from God or to God. When you run from God, you're going to camp in the valley. 
for a long time. When you run to God, he's going to lead you through the valley. When you run to God, you trade in all the ungodliness in your life for godliness. That's why John the Baptist said, Lord, I must decrease, but you must increase. Pray with me, Lord Jesus. I must decrease, and you must increase. Faith, the spirit of faith, the spirit, faith is the spirit. Faith is not a thing of the mind. Believing is maybe a thing of the mind. But it's not believing that saves you, but faith. Faith is a thing of your spirit. And faith is a spirit. Faith is a gift from the Holy Spirit. No one can believe without the gift of faith from the Holy Spirit. So that you can believe, that you can truly believe and have faith is grace. It's a gift of God. It is spirit. Now, the spirit of faith is the spirit of grace and the spirit of mercy, which is the Holy Spirit. Only love in a godly character. The spirit of faith will not love in an ungodly character. Forget it. But most people think a, a godly character is a weak character. Because they grow up with this idea. I remember me, myself. You grow up with this idea. Leave a Jesus. And you didn't see him as a strong man. Let me tell you, Jesus was the toughest person that ever placed his feet on this planet. Tough by choice. Amen. Amen. To believe and to have faith takes a lot of courage. Amen. So in difficult times, when you face trial and temptation and persecution, and when it seems like things are going wrong completely, and sometimes you don't even feel like a Christian, this is the time when you gather faith. So that when you win, Jesus restore you again. You can move mountains and pray prayers that crack mountains. That's why the greater the call, whatever the call might be, the greater the preparation. What is the preparation? You see, we're going through the valleys. And that is the difficult times, the valleys of the shadow of death, the valley of persecution trial, the valley where you think you lose your mind. That is the valley in which you gather precious faith, privileges, grace, and blessings. So when you get to the top of the mountain again restored, you might celebrate and enjoy every blessing you have gathered in the valley. Because Rich soil is not on the mountain tops, but in the valleys. That's in the valleys where you grow, in your faith, in your blessing, in your privileges, and your wisdom in God. Where do you get good soil? On the mountain or in the valley? Valleys. The valleys are the difficult ones, but this is the rich places. We, we get rich in Jesus, but you don't feel rich when you're there, I tell you. You just wish you can get out, man. You just wish the, end, the time will be shortened. You just wish it can be over, huh? Is it this many? And you moan in I valley, young, you complain, huh? It is in those valleys where you get rich. It's in those valleys where you get nourished, where your faith gets established. And in that establishment of your faith, you receive your gifts, your blessing, and your privileges. And when you get to the top of the mountain again, oh, I tell you, then you enjoy them. You speak a word, and God moves. When you're in the valley, you pray, 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 nothing happened. Oh, you pray half an hour, nothing happened. When you're on top, and you've gathered in the valley, you pray five minutes, and there's a breakthrough. You pray one minute, there's a breakthrough. Where? Previously, you pray an hour, you pray days, and the breakthrough does not come. Then you go through the difficult time, you gather riches, privileges, blessings, gifts, faith. 
but you don't use them in the valley. You just gather. You don't even know you gather because the more tough the times, the greater the faith is, that is produced. And when you get to the mountains again, I tell you, you pray one prayer. You say, oh, why? Now you've gathered faith. And when you get to the mountain, you enjoy the privileges of just speaking a word and see mountains flee. Give Jesus a hand, please. You understand that? That's why let the difficult times become a servant unto you. Don't despise the day of small beginnings. Don't despise the day of the valleys. Don't despise the days of digging foundations. Because the higher the building, the deeper the foundation. And let me tell you another secret. The way, in the, the way up in the kingdom of heaven is the way down, friend. For the greatest among you shall be your servant. The way up in the kingdom of heaven is the way down. The greater the building is going to be, the deeper you need to duck to get the foundation firm. Amen? Amen? The greater the call, the greater the preparation. In the name of Jesus. Amen? Today you see men of God, they just do this and things happen. You think, how did they get there? You do not know where they came from. You do not know. Today I click my fingers, you see the power of God fall on people. You don't know where I come came from. You don't know how many hours and nights I've prayed and nothing happened. But this is nothing. You'll see what will come. Give God a hand for the future.